Uh, what's up everyone? Um, Rancer SSF4 here, and uh, today I want to do a little sort of rant video actually, um, revolving around injustice actually that's been going on for the past couple days actually. Um, um, it's mostly involving the DLC for Injustice for the Wii U version of the game. Now before I talk about it, I do want to mention uh, the start of this actually. On April 27th, NetherRealm Studios, or pretty much Ed Boon from NetherRealm Studios confirmed that, um, that the DLC character, the first one named LeBeau, is, go is confirmed and is said to be released on May 7th, so that's going to be next Tuesday. Now, but, he, but I got confused of, is it going to be on the Wii U version, actually, actually. And Warner Bros. confirmed that, said that, there has no beneficial announcement for it so far, actually. But I thought, but I still thought maybe it would come out on May 7th, so I'm going to keep an eye on the Nintendo eShop throughout all of May 7th, actually, just in case it is uh, does come to the DLC. But this is where the rant thing now starts to come in. For the past two days, from yesterday to the past two days, actually, there's been this, these forms everywhere of people saying DL, the DLC in that for the Wii version of Justice is not coming to the Wii version of the game. In that, and this is where I got start to, and this is where I start to get confused by it. Actually, I was wondering like, what are you guys talking about? It is DLC is going to come to that, come to the Wii version. Why? I'll tell you why. In the March Nintendo Direct video, well, one of the employees in Nintendo said that. Downloadable content will be available for Injustice for the Wii U version. They completely confirmed that it will be that DLC that there will be downloadable content for the Wii U version of the game. Actually, and now these people are speculating or saying that the Wii U version is not getting the DLC at all. To which I said, "Wait a minute, is this just a false thing or is this a rumor thing?" That. Yeah. And right now, I've actually seen, I even saw a video on YouTube, actually, somebody saying that, that it's not going to have DLC. And then, and then, so, this would actually got me a little bit more anger about, saying that, wait, how's the, is this really going to be true, is it not? So that's why I want to ask you guys, actually. I want to ask you guys, is this true? Is the DLC not coming to the Wii U version? Despite the fact that Nintendo, one of the employees from Nintendo did say that there will be downloadable content for the Wii U version of the game. In that... Now, do you think maybe this is all true? Or is it just a false rumor that people have been spreading around, actually? And keep in mind, these rumor things is very common in the gaming industry. Sometimes the rumors can either be true, and sometimes it's false in that. So I don't know if this one's either going to be false, or is it just going to be true in that. But I'll be quite honest, actually. If I do find out from some people after this video, or from a comment on another video, that the Wii version is not getting this DLC, I'm really going to be pissed off at NetherRealm and Warner Bros. to be honest. I'm going to be pissed off at it because I actually am enjoying the game despite balancing issues and stuff like that. I'm enjoying the game. Him and that. And I was really looking forward to LeBeau actually, the first DLC character that comes out May 7th. Now keep in mind though, that might be just for the season pa for the people who bought the season pass for the Xbox 360 and PS3 version since it wasn't there was none for the Wii U actually, but I was fine. That yeah, since the Nintendo e Show will have the downloadable content. But it's like I said, if these rumors are true, I'm going to be pissed off at NetherRealm Studios and Warner Bros. And so, NetherRealm Warner Bros., if you hear and listen to this, is this all true? Is there no DLC coming for the Wii U first game? Because let's face it, you made a new fighting game, the first one... Of the second fighting game and also your first fighting game NetherRealm to be released on a Nintendo platform in a brand new console, actually. And then all of a sudden, on that, it's incomplete because it doesn't have frame matches, even though you ha guys have confirmed that you're going to fix that with a patch, though. That, but the fact that, that, and the fact that there's this rumor going on recently that the DLC might not come to the Wii U. But here's the thing, though, that, that does that is concerned by this. There have been some of the launch titles for the Wii U that when the Wii U came out in November 2012, there were some versions of, of of past third party games that actually did got the DLC for them. Here's an example, Assassin's Creed for the, for the Wii U version. Sure, the Wii U version is the most inferior because of frame rate issues <laughs> and that stuff. But here's the thing though, the Wii U version of the Wii U version of Assassin's Creed 3 it still got the DLC in that that came out recently for the system actually. So it still got that. So I was 
that means that some people, that most people actually did got the Wii U version. But there have been some launch title third party games for the Wii U that it didn't get the DLC that came out recently. For example, Black Ops 2, the Wii U version. What happens once the new DLC comes? It doesn't come to the Wii U. It only comes to the other consoles. Now some people might think maybe, maybe the reason is because maybe they're still making it for the Wii U. But I'll tell you why. Do you want to know why? It's mostly because of this. Because, yeah, I'm not kidding you. It's my, because that Black Ops 2 on the Wii U sold very didn't even sell nowhere near as good as the other console versions, Activision probably decided to cancel the DLC for the Wii U version and just release it only on the other consoles because that the Wii version of their game sold very poorly. Now, mainly because the people thought found it, it to be slightly inferior to the other console ports. So, this does also make me wonder, is Warner Brothers going to do the same thing? In that, is the sales on the Wii U version of the game going to sell poorly is the Wii U version of Injustice going so poor that forces them to decide to cancel it all? To cancel the DLC for Injustice? Now keep in mind though, that the Realm of War was just to let you know, I bought a Wii U console to also play a game. Not only because it's on a new console, not only because just to try out your fighting game for the first time, but also because on a new console and it's made by Nintendo. That, and all of a sudden, you know, there's this rumor going on and if it's all true, now let's think about it. If this is true, you guys are idiots not deciding not to release DLC. And here's the thing though. Just because the Wii version of the game doesn't sell, no one near doesn't sell as good as other console ports, that doesn't really mean you should cancel the DLC, but that's if this whole rumor thing is true. Oh nah. <sighs> nah. And so what if maybe some of your customers actually what if some people might have bought the Wii U actually, mostly Nintendo? fans or something like that. What if they bought the Wii U actually to play your game actually? What if some, which I highly doubt to be cool, but honestly besides the fact that I bought it, bought the Wii U to play the game, actually, what if, but still, what if some of your customers, mostly Nintendo fans, bought the Wii U version of the game to play the game and you didn't want to get this DLC? Now, I can maybe see two people who don't give a crap about DLC would probably be okay with this. That way they can still play the game and stuff. That's fine. But for those who want to play different new characters, actually, for DLC, you should release that for the Wii U, actually. No, but if it's... And here's the thing, that the Realm of Warner Bros. Listen up. If LeBolt does not come out on the Wii U on May 7th, and, has no, and it's been confirmed that he's not coming to the Wii U, guess what? Fuck you guys. Seriously. I don't care. I don't care if you fix some of the problems with the Wii U version of the game, patches that... I don't fucking care, okay? He and that I really do want to try out the bow and the other DLC characters. So now, nah. that yeah. if you guys are going to release them for the Wii U, but at a later date, that is fine with me. As long as there is a release date for the Wii, as long as there is an official release date for the Wii U version of the game of DLC, that is completely fine. But if there, but if there's none coming out, hope for the Wii U. Fuck you, fuck you guys. Seriously. Seriously, like, it's really dumb about this, but keep in mind, this is if the rumors are true. If the rumors are not true, then that's great, though. I'm now completely feeling okay now about this. But I want to, you guys, actually, is to comment in the comments below and tell me if this is all true. Is this whole DLC not calling the Wii U rumor true, actually? Is it true? Now, because, I'll be quite honest, actually, I am going to keep an eye out on May 7th, just in case that they do release it. For the Wii U, because if you think about it, when Assassin's Creed 3 for the Wii U came out, they announced that DLC would be coming for the PS3 or the Xbox 360, but not for the Wii U version of the game, actually. So mostly, it came out on the Wii U and Nintendo eShop unexpectedly without letting you guys know, actually, unless you go to the eShop uh, to find out about that, just to be sure about it. And since we now know that the ball, though the first DLC game is coming out next Tuesday, actually, for the consoles, just like I did before, like I said before, I'm going to look, keep an eye on it throughout most of the day, and, then, and see if he's going to be available. If he's not, I'll be pissed off unless they do confirm that he will be coming to Wii U at a later date. Though, so, so, so I'll be quite, so like I said, if this whole rumor is true that there will be no DLC for coming to the Wii U, I'm going to be completely pissed off and another, 
Warner Bros. and Nandera. I would like you, like you guys to spread the word about this. Spread the word about this rumor and that to Wii owners and that who bought the game actually. And um, I also would like to, you guys to maybe maybe also make your thoughts about the whole situation and send it as feedback to Warner Brothers, who's interactive and NetherRealm, to ask them about it, to ask them about this whole thing. You know? If you guys do that and spread the word and then do that stuff, uh, and if they ha and if they do confirm that the DLC will come to the Wii, but just at a later date or on the confirmed release dates, that you know, that's going to be great, actually. But if they confirm that it's not coming to Wii U, then fuck them, then. Fuck them on that. I'll still play Injustice, but... Play just I'll still play Injustice, but without DLC, it doesn't expand the popularity of the game. And so, I am a little bit pissed off about this thing going on, but... I do want... So, again, comment below. Oh, and tell me if you... And tell me if this is true or not. Do you think maybe this is all just false rumors? Or is, it, or is it confirmed that it is true? So, I want to thank you guys for this little rant, actually. I really do wanted to point this out, actually, since I've heard this for the past couple days, actually. And now that and now that LeBault's going to come out next Tuesday, actually, at least now I know. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this rant video. Again, comment below if this rumor is true or not, or if it's just a false rumor that's not true. And then, and, and then also spread the word and tell... Warner Bros. and Interactive that if it is true, bring them to the Wii U version that way Wii U owners will get satisfied in that. Because, after all, I do think the Tales new console does deserve some third party support that despite the fact that the gamepad is not much of a huge gimmick than the Wii Remote though. So, thanks for watching everyone. Um, again, comment below. Tell me what you think about this and that. Send this as feedback or whatever. Spread the word. And I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, if LeBall does come out next Tuesday, will you again? I'll keep an eye on it for Nintendo eShop, and if it's available, I'm going to be doing the the, the classic ladder mode for LeBall train train mode to show you guys some combos with him. And uh, I'll also do a week of LeBall for the week after he's released. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you guys later for more videos. Thanks.